Dear students, let me present to you the mean and variance of the discrete uniform distribution. Let us derive the formula for the mean in the case of the uniform 1n distribution. Ye uniform 1n distribution consi when we have x values as 1, 2, 3, so on up to n. And the probability attached with each one of them as 1 over n. All right, let us derive. Uh, mu, the mean, is the expected value of x. And because it is a discrete situation, therefore, the expected value of x is given by the summation of x into p of x. Ab p of x ki jaga pe, we will substitute 1 over n. So what do we get? We get summation x into 1 over n. Ab iske baad, 1 over n ko hum summation mein se bahar nikal lete hain because it is a constant. Aur ab kya ban gaya? We get 1 over n into summation of x. Agar hum isko khol ke likhe, summation x ko, to kya mil jayega hume? 1 over n ke saath 1 plus 2 plus so on up to n. To ab aapko malum hai ek basic rule that the sum of the first n natural numbers is given by n into n plus 1 over 2. Ye to aapko pata hi hai, school level pe hum ye cheeze karte hai. So therefore, mu, the mean, is equal to 1 over n into n into n plus 1 over 2. So obviously, n will cancel with n and we are left with mu is equal to n plus 1 over 2. Ye humne derive kar liya mathematical expression of the mean of the discrete uniform distribution that we denote by capital U and then a bracket in which we write 1 comma n. Iske baad, let us try to derive the variance of the same distribution. Variance ka shortcut formula kya hai? You know that it is expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. To expected value of x to humne abhi abhi nikali hai. Ab hume kya nikalna hai? Expected value of x square. So, what is that equal to? Obviously, that is equal to summation x square into p of x. Now, p of x is equal to 1 over n. So, let us substitute. So, what do we get? Summation x square into 1 over n. Ab ye 1 over n chuke constant hai. Isko phir bahar le aate hai. So, what do we get? 1 over n summation x square. Agar hum isko khol ke likhe, to ye banega 1 over n aur uske saath multiply kya ho rahe? 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 1 up to n square. But again, from school days, we know that the sum of the squares of the first n natural numbers is given by n, uh, n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 over 6. So, hum ye expression yahan pe substitute kar dete hain. So, then obviously n will cancel with n and we are left with n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 over 6. Abhi ye variance nahi hai. This is simply the expected value of x square. Ab jo shortcut formula hai, variance ka, uske andar hum ye cheezein dal dete hain. 
So as you can now see on the screen, the variance, which is also known as sigma square, denoted by sigma square, is equal to e of x square minus e of x whole square, yani n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 over 6 minus n plus 1 over 2 whole square. Uske baad, students, obviously, you can open the bracket, you can square, you can do all that is required, and the derivation is in front of you. And what is the final result? Well, just before the final result, what do we get? We have the expression 2 into n plus 1 into n minus 1 over 24. So 2 by 24 to zahir hai ke 1 over 12 ke barabar hai. Upar jo n plus 1 into n minus 1 hai, what is that equal to? Of course, it is equal to n square minus 1 square. Is liye ke hum jante hai ke a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So ye jo n square minus 1 square hai, Yani n square minus 1, this is being divided by 12, and this, my dear students, is the expression for the variance of the discrete uniform distribution. Agar hum iska square root le, to what do we get? We get the standard deviation of the discrete uniform distribution. Uh, before I close this discussion, I would like to give you an example by which you can appreciate some of what I have presented. Uh, let us get back to the mean. The mean, the simple thing. Dekhte hai ek example ke zariye, ki kya uska mean vaqai n plus 1 over 2 ke barabar hai. So let's consider the rolling of a fair die. Agar ek fair die ko hum... Uh, roll kare, to kya x ki values hongi when x is representing the number of dots on the uppermost face of the die. Of course, the values will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So you can see that in this particular example, n is equal to 6. Achcha. Iske baad isko visualize kare, har ek ke saath probability kya attach hui hui hai? It is 1 by 6 because it is a fair die. To agar iska graph hum draw kare, to x axis ke upar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 aur har ek ke upar ek vertical line and the height of each one of them is 1 by 6. Ab students, zara ghor ki je, 1, 2, 3 aur phir 4, 5, 6, ye 3 or 4 ke beech mein, 3.5. 3.5 jo point hai x axis ke upar, wahan pe aap mirror place karein, to aap dekh rahe hain, ke the left hand side of the distribution is the mirror image of the right hand side. To phir aapko pata hai, ke iska matlab hai ke absolutely symmetric distribution around the point 3.5. So then you know that when it is symmetric, the mean is exactly at that central point. So this means that graphically we have judged that the mean of this particular distribution is 3.5. So now the formula we derived, is that are we getting uh, 3.5? Well, what is the formula? Mu is equal to n plus 1 over 2. If n is equal to 7, I'm sorry, if n is equal to 6, what do we get? 6 plus 1 over 2. 7 by 2. Yani 3.5. So, jo humne graphically judge kar liya, the formula is exactly giving us that same result. These are the algebraic expressions that I have just derived for you for the mean and variance of that particular uniform distribution that is written as capital U, 1, 